This massive ant colony maintains cohesion through constant chemical communication. This signaling method facilitates the collection of food, defense of the colony, and, very creepily, collection of their dead. However, chemical signatures can be mimicked. This enables the Zodarian spider to lurk and hunt amidst the ants. If the spider is recognized as a foreign creature, the ants will kill her. They're kind of xenophobic like that. She spots a loner that has stopped for a bit of grooming and injects her paralytic venom. She then uses the corpse of her victim as camouflage. The ant's scent masks her own. This, this spider, I gotta tell you, is the worst creature in the world. Using her disguise and the scent of her prey to mislead the other ants, she makes her escape. Once at a safe distance, she sucks the juices out of her victim and returns to her den and cements her place within my nightmares for years to come. So to recap, the Zodarian spider finds an ant colony, goes inside, finds a loner ant, kills it, wears its skin as camouflage, and uses its scent to help mask its escape. It is a serial killer. I, I mean, there's no other way to say it. Uh, we probably have an FBI profile on this thing. It is a menace. It needs to be stopped. And, uh, and I don't know who's brave enough to do it. It's certainly not me. <laughs>